for starting. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Real quickly, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Got some awesome stuff coming up. Want to make sure you guys don't miss out. So, like I said, go ahead and subscribe. So, like, um, I'm just gonna ask because I feel like we're all thinking this. Um, are you guys like just like patiently waiting for these stay-at-home orders to be uplifted so you guys can go travel again? Because sure. literally, like I don't even know what to do. <laughs> um, just kidding, I do. No, for real, like today's Tuesday and actually on Friday, I was supposed to be flying out to Arizona, which obviously my flight got canceled. So i um, pretty bummed about that, but I literally just cannot wait for, for these stay-at-home orders to be uplifted because I want to go places. <gasps> I want to go to places. But fortunately, I do have a really big trip coming up in July with some of my friends. We're actually going to Peru. More specifically, we're doing the famous Machu Picchu hike. Um, which I'm really, really, really excited for. So I want to make sure that everything in the world gets fixed, <laughs> um, or at least settles down. One of my buddies and I are actually trying to go uh, to the Caribbeans in June too, because after all this is over, like we just want to escape. So hopefully that works out too. But you know, let's 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 talk happy, okay? Let's talk happy. What are some good things going on right now? You know what's happy is a Banff Canada. Yes, Banff Canada National Park. That's what we'll be talking about today. It's about two hours away from Calgary, at least where I stayed. It took us about two hours to get there. It could be different based on where you guys are located, but to give you a general idea, if you are based in Calgary, it'll take you about two hours to get there. Banff National Park is one of my favorite places that I've been to, and here's why. I'm sure you guys have seen the very famous Lake Louise. It's one of the most photographed places in the whole entire world. Yes, this lake is that special. All right, so Banff National Park, Lake Louise, when's the best time to go? Honestly, it's up to you. I've been there in the wintertime and I've also been there in the summertime and I honestly don't know which one's best. It all just depends on what you guys wanna do and your preferences. Wintertime in Canada, obviously it's gonna be very cold. Summertime in Canada, it's not gonna to be too hot. It'll be comfortable weather, but again, the things that you can do and the experiences and the adventures that you go on is highly going to be dependent on the weather. So again, it's up to whatever you guys are wanting to do. Before I dive in and talk more about it, let's go ahead and talk about a couple facts about Banff National Park. So number one, it's huge. Yeah. It's literally over 2,500 square miles of scenery. You guys love hiking, lakes, scenery, landscapes, all that stuff. This is literally like heaven for you. But going off of that because it's so big, it's not a place you go to for half a day, you go for a couple hours. You literally need to devote several days. That's why I know that I definitely need to go back both wintertime and summertime. Each time that I've gone there, I've only been there for several hours. I know, I made that mistake. Another cool thing about Banff National Park is some of the mountains are between 50 to 120 million years old. Isn't that older than dinosaurs? Yeah, I think so. Cool, awesome. <laughs> let's go there right now. But let's go back and talk about Lake Louise. So Lake Louise is the most photographed lake in the whole entire world. Yeah, that's right. Google it, look it up. You'll see so many pictures of Lake Louise. It's very popular. You might think that because in the winter time it's cold and windy and snowy, there may not be a lot of people there. Wrong. There are so many people there in the winter time, just as much as there is there in the summertime. Why, Jenny? Great question. Um, so one thing that's really cool about Bath National Park and more specifically Lake Louise is that it, the lake actually freezes. The ice is completely frozen, 200 feet of just natural ice. With the lake being naturally frozen, so many people go on it to ice skate. Yeah, for real, they do. There are places there where you can rent ice skates and then voila boom, you can go ice skating on the lake. You can rent hockey sticks. There are actually nets set up in certain areas. You can play some, um, hockey, you can play some hockey with some friends or you, know, you can just have a really romantic date and you know, with your significant other hold hands and skate down Lake Louise. How romantic. If it snows too much, there are clouds literally driving on the lake, getting rid of the snow. That's how strong it is. When I was there, I would I, when I saw people skating on the lake, I literally was Googling it to see if it was safe because I was like, I would not walk on there. You know, what if it just breaks, given my luck? But there were so many people on there. And then I saw the tractor plowing the snow. And I told my friend, I was like, there is no way that ice is so strong to be able to hold up that tractor. But it is. It's true. It really is. Did I mention it's cold? 
because it's cold. Let's go ahead and switch gears and talk about summertime. I was recently just there in I believe August or September. I'm not really entirely sure what month it was exactly. I just know I was there recently and it was summertime. But I almost feel like it was August. While my friends and I were there, we did a hike called Lake Agnes Trail, which is about, I want to say, seven to eight miles round trip. You're probably wondering, should you be wearing hiking shoes? Honestly, no. When I did this hike, I was wearing Vans. Yeah, Vans. In my defense, I did not know that we were going to be going on this lengthy trail hike. I honestly thought we were going to walk around for, you know, a mile or two and then call it a go. Um, but we ended up doing the whole entire thing. We hiked all the way up. We made it to the tea house. You know, you got to relax for a little bit and then we hiked all the way down. During this hike, you'll see waterfalls, you'll see awesome lookout points, you'll get to the tea house. Um, I would say it's about moderate if you are wondering whether it's an easy hike or strenuous hike. I would say it's right in the middle. It's, it's pretty moderate. One really popular thing to do in the summertime is actually go canoeing on Lake Louise. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. The water is so blue and when you are canoeing down the lake and you're in between the mountains, it's, it's just, it's, you, you have to, you have to. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks for checking this video out. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Got a lot of stuff coming up. Like I said, I post a new travel video every two weeks. So what's going to be my next video? Come back. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Jen out. I need to work on that. So since we're still on this whole stay at home order thing, now what am I going to do? Hmm. Uh, hey, uh, no, this is not the seventh time looking in the fridge in the last two minutes. No, I'm not bored eating.